When it comes to formatting, Docs does not hold a candle to Microsoft Word, but it does the basics pretty well. In this section, we're going to go over the Google Docs formatting toolbar and also show you how to create a new document from scratch. And uh, there's a couple ways to do it, but we're doing it from the Docs homepage at docs.google.com. You can either select the blank icon right here, or if you scroll down, a little red icon, plus icon will, will pop up. Click that, select the blank template, and away we go. Here is an untitled document. Note that the document is saved as you type. You don't need to do anything special for that. You might want to change the title. Just uh, click on it to rename it. And we'll just call this test doc. And then down here, uh, we can start typing. Uh, this is a sample document on Google Docs. OK, so here we have a sentence. I'll highlight it, and then I'll copy it. Whoops. Copy, and then I'm going to paste it so we can compare them. Now, uh, going left to right, the first, doc, the first icon here is the Docs Home, this blue icon. Click on that, and that will bring you back to the Google Docs main screen. We don't want to do that right now. Uh, if you want to print something, the print icon. Now, uh, it will either give you the option of saving as a PDF, or you can select an actual local printer. I have a whole bunch of destinations set up here. But if you wanted to add another one, it could either be wired or a wireless printer. You'd click this icon that says Set Up to Add Printers next to Google Cloud Print. And we won't do that right now because that would take a little bit too much time. I actually end up saving documents as PDFs all the time because I might want to mail it, email it to somebody else or print it, and it's pretty useful for, uh, for, for doing that. Now, these are the uh, undo and redo buttons. And then over here, uh, we have the different formatting options. So if I wanted to, if, let's say I wanted to bold the first line here, I just highlight it, click the B button. There's also a keyboard shortcut, and it's bold. Now, another interesting thing you can do is you can copy the formatting using this paint format thing. So you basically uh, click that paint roller icon. And it's actually what it did is it what it did is it because I had the I had the cursor here when I pressed that it copied the plain formatting and then when I applied it to this word it changed it from bold to unbold. You can change the 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 zoom effect. And basically what it does is it will make the text look bigger or larger. However, it will not affect the printed output. This is just for your benefit. So if you want to. If you want to make the text a little easier for, to read as you're typing it, you could change it from 150% to 125%, uh, et cetera. Uh, normal text is the standard uh, body text you might use, but you can also change it to something else. So if I wanted to change this to a heading, I just click the drop down and I'd select heading. This selects the different fonts. So the heading font is something called Trebuchet. I could also change it to a standard. Um, Let's see, a, a monospace font, kind of like a computer font. Or I could do a classic um, a serif font, like Cambria. This font size naturally affects the size of it. So if I wanted to make this one word bigger than all the rest, highlight it, go to font size, and then I change it to 14. And you can see that it's bigger. Bold, italics, underline. That should be pretty standard. And then there's also the option to change the color. The uh, text color, if I wanted to change that red, just click that. Hey, it's red. If I want to change the background color, you use the same icon, highlight. And then let's say I wanted to make the background this light blue. There it is. You can have lots of fun with that. The alignment, the alignment icons are pretty important. Right now, it's a left aligned. But if I wanted to, I could center it, or I could right align. Uh, this is the justify, so if you have a paragraph and it's kind of bumpy on the right edge, you can make it all evened out, evenly spaced. Linking is pretty important. So let's say I want to link Google Docs, highlight it, click the insert link icon, and then I would, uh, Google actually helpfully provides the link for you, but if you want to, you can type it out yourself, docs, whoops, docs.google.com, and apply the link. Okay. And then there's line spacing, uh, creating bullets. So let's say that I have, uh, all right, let's do a, this is a sample. Copy that, create a couple different lines here. And then I'm going to highlight this and turn it into bullets. And basically use one of these, the numbered list or the uh, bulleted list, and just press it. 
its bullets automatically. You can also do left, uh, d decrease indent, increase indent. Of the uh, other file options up here, the menu options, the one that I use a lot is actually insert. So oftentimes I want to insert an image, and basically if you select that, it'll prompt you to either find one in your account, uh, maybe I already have some, or I can just drag one here or, or upload one. So that's pretty useful. Other insert options include uh, special characters, page numbers. That's, that's very useful if you're printing it. But note that the options aren't as rich or full-featured as Microsoft Word. Uh, Microsoft Word, you can do all kinds of page numbering. For Google Docs, it's pretty simple. Um, page breaks, headers, footers. Again, these are much more simple than what's available for Microsoft Word. But on the other hand, Google Docs is free. So that's a pretty nice benefit. And I found for things like letters, uh, very simple business documents, Google Docs is great.